good to be with you this evening and have the opportunity to thank the Senior Citizen Center for the thoughtful invitation. Uh, this is a tremendous evening for the Senior Citizen Center and I hope you all enjoy the Christmas movie. Thank you for the event. You know, we're talking about our election and we can talk about the awards that are given or the endorsements that we receive. Uh, I've been blessed to have endorsements and awards by people that you trust in this election. The residents of, of these endorsements, such as the NRA, the National Medical Association, the Right to Life, or the VFW, I want to talk about what's really important to you here in Pulaski County. Pulaski County, as you know, is the home of Fort Leonard Wood. Fort Leonard Wood is the main economic engine for this county and for the surrounding counties, this part of Missouri. But I want to tell you about my dream. My dream is that Fort Leonard Wood be the premier Army Post in America. And we've come a long way and we still have a way to go. Pulaski County, Fort Leonard Wood, came into the 4th Congressional District in January 1983. It's been with us ever since. In 1983, the soldiers, student trainees, totaled 21,000 going through Fort Leonard Wood. This year, 2010, the military student trainees going through Fort Leonard Wood will total in excess of 90,000. Not just Army, but Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, and yes, Coast Guardsmen. On the civilian side, Things have changed. The best numbers I have is in 1983 there were six hotels in and around Fort Leonard Wood. Today there are 26 hotels in and around Fort Leonard Wood. 1989 we brought the Army Engineering School from Fort Belvoir to Fort Leonard Wood and I worked with the then Major General Charles Franklin in his home is in nearby Camden's and sadly no longer with us today. But that was a major achievement and we should remember him. 1984, I joined the Army in urging joint training services here at Fort Leonard Wood. And they did follow through all the services, put their trainees through here for road transportation and also for construction. 1999, the BRAC, the Base Closing Commission, headed by a St. Louis resident by the name of Lee Clay, brought the Army Engineer on an Army Chemical School and the Army Military Free School before Leonard Wood. Today, more than 3,800 civilian workers work on Fort Leonard Wood and more than 2,600 contractors work on Fort Leonard Wood. Fort Leonard Wood has contributed, according to the best information from the state of Missouri, $2.1 billion to the Missouri economy in 19, excuse me, 2009, which of course supports thousands of jobs, restaurants, motels, construction. And during my time as chairman of the Armed Services Committee, which is four years, our committee has authorized $701 million in military construction for Fort Leonard Wood, which includes $111 million this year for the Fort. In the future, between 2012 and 2015, there is a potential military construction of $866 million, mostly for purposes of training. Now, there's a concern I have. 
And I'm going to share it with the top Republican on the Senate Budget Committee is talking about an additional round of base closures. And should that happen, as in other base closures, everything is on the table. Just this weekend, the Republican candidate and a member of Congress by the name Mark Kirk, running for the United States Senate in Illinois, stated that he is in favor of another base closing round. Which, of course, would put every post and every base on the potential chopping block. Should that happen, I am not for it, but should that happen, I will fight to protect Fort Leonard as I did two cracks ago when there was an attempt to close it within this closing commission. But what's important about Fort Leonard Wood is they're in the land. It's the young men and young women that are praying. The young men and young women that go in harm's way. The young men and young women that stand for freedom and we do the very best to bring America all the more safe. These young men and young women trained and educated at Fort Leonard Wood who all over the world in uniform and who are immensely proud of them. They are national treasures. And I wish you would take a few minutes sometime and drive through Fort Leonard Wood and look at the recruits that are going through there. They are a future great generation. They understand patriotism. They understand duty. They are volunteers. And they are super young men and young women. And that's what the purpose of Fort Leonard Wood is all about. So if you see one on the street, in a coffee shop, or at your church, take a moment to go visit with them. Let them know that you appreciate their service because they are America's finest. So let's keep working together so we can continue to educate and train those young folks to stand in our shoes and protect our American freedoms wherever they may be. You're proud of them. I'm proud of them. Let's do our best in the days and years ahead for Fort Leonard for Pulaski County, for the young folks in uniform, and as chairman of the Armed Services Committee, I'll do my best to protect them. These are trying times for our country. These are times for us to band together, support those in uniform, let our neighbors know the importance for those who serve our country. We will have better days. And when the time comes, I predict that the young people in uniform today, those who have been in harm's way and those who have answered the call, the voluntary call, they will be another great generation. And I would like to be part of helping make them come to pass. It's wonderful, wonderful to be with you. Proud of this town, proud of what we're